Hi, John here to bring you the best free first-person shooter games available on Mac. To easily download each game, please follow the download links in the video description. Red Eclipse 2 is a shooter from the days of yore. Fast-paced arena combat awaits those who enter and there's nary a microtransaction in sight. This makes sense as the game has 10 years of active development behind it which is still ongoing. Essentially, it is its own spin on something like Unreal Tournament and Quake, so you can expect Twitch-based shooting. Seven unique weapons will let you choose how to blast your foes, and at the same time, the emphasis on agile gameplay, such as parkour, boosts, and dashes, adds another element of strategy to consider as you race around each arena. There's even a level editor you can use to create maps. Another fun feature is the ability to create maps with other players in real-time co-op editing mode. Fun fact. Red Eclipse 2 is made entirely from a community of volunteers who love the genre. There's no money behind the project. The developers are open to community feedback and interaction. Cool. Red Eclipse 2 is available on Steam. Another entry in the long-running free war game series. It's not the flashiest shooter around, but it gets the job done with a modern look and various maps and game modes to engage in. The controls are a little clunky, but it is hard to complain about free blasting and entertainment. War Trigger 3 elevates itself above typical shooters by including battlefields that include vehicle and air combat and the usual run and gun infantry playstyle. The game mode selection is also good. I particularly enjoy Search and Destroy and the Territory modes, which mix up the formula with one life only rounds and area control respectively. War Trigger 3 is available on Steam or the Mac App Store. A remake of the 1996 title, Chex Quest is back, this time in HD. A modern update sees you play as one of six different members of the Chex Mix Squadron, yes, really, as you battle evil cereal munching monsters from another dimension. Defeat foes with spoons, sporks, and zorchers. The game is super silly, but it's a fun throwback to retro FPS. The main game is single player, but you can play split screen PvP over a local network. Just note that the multiplayer mode requires two compatible USB controllers. The game is best checked out on its own silly merits, so take a peek if you like retro weirdness or are fond of Chex cereal. Chex Quest HD is available on Steam. Rules of Survival is a battle royale that features up to 300 combatants in a single match. Whoa! In typical battle royale fashion, you start by parachuting in, scrounging up loot, and shooting the nearest players. You can fight alone or in teams of up to 5 players. Other than the standard battle royale mode with a shrinking map and last player or team standing, the game offers survival versus zombies and a hero mode, which gives your character special abilities. Think a mix of Apex Legends and Fortnite. Note: Rules of Survival is a third-person game by default, but you can download an optional FPS mode in the settings. This will let you play in first person during regular play. In addition, the game won't launch in full screen initially, so go to the settings and enable the full screen option, and it will open in full screen every time in the future. Rules of Survival is available to download from the official website. Skill Wars is a sharp little in development multiplayer shooter. Smooth movement and firing immerse you right away into the action. Over 20 different maps and a variety of perks, progression, and loadout options keep the gameplay fresh and incentivize you to level up. Five main game modes are available to play, including standards like Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch, but there are also more exciting options such as Gun Game, which provides you a new weapon every time you score a takedown. I especially like the contrasting graphics, making the levels easy to navigate and the characters simple to spot. There is even a map editor and an active community to share new maps and gameplay tips and tricks. Skill Wars is available on the Itch.io app. Krunker is a fast-paced arcade-style shooter reminiscent of a mashup between Call of Duty and Counter-Strike, except it's charmingly blocky graphics. The game can be played in your browser, or you can download it directly to your Mac. I especially love how no logins are required to start playing, just pick a server and start blasting. Krunker is simple silly fun. There's plenty of content here if you want to dive into the game, but I find it best for quick rounds of shooting when I want a short break. It doesn't do anything particularly original, but it's good at what it does providing a decent and accessible shooter that can run on pretty much any Mac out there. If you download the game on your Mac, make sure to right-click the application and click Open. This will give the game permissions to run. You only have to do this once. Welcome to the Zombie Apocalypse. As one of the few remaining unturned, you will have to face many challenges to keep it that way. 
Huge open world maps are at your disposal to explore, fight, craft, build, and survive. A variety of zombies will stand in your way and other survivors who may or may not be friendly. Unturned is a blended survival shooter experience that lets you take whatever approach you want. Go in guns blazing or be stealthy, quietly removing enemies one at a time. Swords, machine guns, sniper rifles, landmines, and more will be at your disposal to fight back both the living and the dead. There's also an arena mode for pure PvP action with a variety of game types to enjoy. When you aren't busy fighting for your life, you can scavenge supplies, hunt animals, forage and fish, build shelters, and more. Fun fact, just one person created Unturned, a lone Canadian developer turned Steam superstar. Unturned is available on Steam. Please note, Ravenfield is a paid game on Steam, however, there is also a free beta version available via itch.io. Ravenfield is the ultimate red vs blue simulator. You might expect this kind of game to be your typical large multiplayer title, but Ravenfield is single player. The interesting thing is, team and enemy counts is only limited by what your computer can handle. Play with 50 bots or 500. Simple gameplay and graphics don't detract from the fun, large-scale shooting experience. A variety of vehicles, weapons, and gadgets let the battlefield become your playground. Each map aims to capture the flag positions, which increase your score and double as a spawning point. If you're feeling like an additional challenge, load into a dark map. Just don't forget your night vision goggles. While the original Marathon games were all released back in the 90s, they have been updated by fans through the Alephone project to not only run on modern Macs, but also feature enhanced graphics, UI, and other conveniences. The games look surprisingly sharp, even in 2020. Known for such groundbreaking additions to the FPS genre, such as full-featured co-op, dual-wielding, fighting in water, lava, or space, the Marathon games were widely considered the best shooters of their time. Though the whole trilogy is available, I highly recommend Marathon 2 Durandal, as it is the best of the bunch. A great story with a devious AI villain, excellent level design, cool weapons, and more aliens than you can count make for a brilliant FPS package. Fun fact, the Marathon games are considered the precursor to Halo, which Bungie would later develop as a smash hit. The Marathon games are available on the Aleph 1 website. CSGO remains one of the most played shooters anywhere for a reason. It's simple to learn, but hard to master gameplay, and lightning rounds of action have been testing gamers' reflexes for almost two decades. Of course Counter-Strike has seen many updates over the years, but seemingly reached its final form in CSGO. Considering there are typically over a million players at any given time, you'll never run out of opponents. Pick your team, buy your gear, and tactically eliminate the other side. A variety of game modes, rankings, and co-op options will keep you blasting as long as you want with friends and foes alike. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is available on Steam. Here are a couple bonus mentions. Unreal Tournament Unreal Tournament was meant to relaunch the aging arena series into the modern era. However, development has slowed down, but don't let that stop you from checking out this blisteringly paced arena FPS with great weapons and movement controls. Just note that this game will require max with a 4GB or better graphics card. Arena Become a magical gladiator in this hand-drawn action adventure with many different levels, enemy types, and spells. Rexuiz FPS Enjoy this blend of Quake and Unreal Tournament for some old-school bunny-hopping action. Warfork This demanding and speed-based shooter is worth a peek for those who like agility and movement style of gameplay. Paint Warfare This early access paintball simulator is more than you'd think. Featuring infantry combat and wacky movement that lets you scale any building, additionally, there's some cool weapons such as paint shotguns and bazookas. What did you think of the list? Did you find it useful, or are you disappointed by the lack of bigger games that are found on PC and consoles? Regardless, at the end of the day, we just hope you found a game here that you can enjoy. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, as it greatly supports the channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with Mac Gaming.